Hey friends, Miss Lynn from the Action Arts and Science program at the Washington Pavilion and we've got a fun art project today in our Don't Bug Me unit. And we're gonna do a butterfly art project, but we're gonna do it from a different perspective. Normally when we would draw a butterfly, we would draw the whole butterfly. Today we're gonna pretend to zoom in on just one small part of a butterfly wing and then use chalk pastels to create that. But before we get to that, I want you to read this book called Waiting for Wings. I really like this book about butterflies and I wanted to share it with you. So pause the video, read this book, and then come back. All right, so this one is a little bit trickier to do because we have to think about close up. And so we have to really pretend in our minds that we are zooming in uh, with a microscope almost to a butterfly wing. Now we don't have microscopes to use, but you are gonna have a magnifying glass. We don't have real butterflies to look at, but you're gonna have some photos and some images that you can use. So I've got an example here. I found a calendar or a book um, that has a picture of a butterfly on it. Okay, and so if I use my magnifying glass and I put it up very high, I can zoom in on just one small part of this monarch butterfly wing. And so that's what I'm gonna now create on my paper. Here's an example of one I did earlier. And you have to imagine that this is one small corner of one part of one of the butterfly's four wings. So the rest of the butterfly wings would be way down here and way over here. This is just one small section. Um, so it's a little bit tricky when you can't see it all the time. So that's why we're gonna use pictures and the magnifying glass to kind of keep reminding us what it looks like. I basically am gonna do just a black part with dots and a few lines because that's what would be emphasized with this. So I'm gonna start with a Sharpie. Now remember when we use Sharpies, we gotta make sure we have something underneath us so we don't get them on the table. So I'm gonna put a couple extra pieces of paper underneath just in case. If you wanna start with a pencil and draw your design, you can do that. But again, this doesn't have to be exact because it's a zoomed in close up. So it really isn't going to matter a whole lot. But if you're more comfortable using a pencil first and then tracing the Sharpie, you can do that. So I'm just going to create just a little bit of a curve that would be kind of the edge or the corner of the wing. And then I'm gonna draw another section because the monarch butterfly has a black band at the edge of the wing. And then I'm just gonna draw some lines. And then maybe one there. And if I look a little closer, there's some that are kind of divided. So I'm gonna just do that. So there's my outline. And then I'm gonna use chalk pastels. Now chalk pastels can be messy, so I'm gonna send some baby wipes also so you can wipe your fingers off in between because you don't wanna mix colors when you're using these. It just doesn't work as well. So one of the things I noticed when I was looking close up is there are white circles all along the edge. And I'm going a little fast just so we can get through all of this. Make some circles. And then with our chalk pastels, we can use our finger to rub and smooth them out a little bit. Kind of all of our colors, all of our patterns are going to be, we kind of call it muted, kind of soft because there's no hard edges with them. Then I'm going to take black and I'm going to go along in here. And again, I'm not really coloring the whole thing because I'm going to use my finger then to kind of smear this all around, go in between. And I have found if you rub the opposite direction that you uh, made the stroke with, so like when I go this way with the chalk pastel, if I rub the opposite direction, it smears better. 
learned that when I was practicing. I'm just going to keep smearing. Turn my paper here, that will be easier. Keep going along. If I need to afterwards, I can go over the white ones again if they need to be a little darker. And again, things in nature aren't perfect, so it's okay if not everything is completely smeared the same. Many things in nature are different and unique, and so that part is okay. Okay, right, I'm gonna move on, wipe my finger off here. And my butterfly actually is more yellowish than I would have thought. It's not, this one's not as orange. So I'm gonna fill in some sections with this yellow. Okay, and I'll spread that around. filling in if I needed to add a little bit more can but we're not coloring so we're not filling in the whole section not drawing the whole section with the chalk pastel we are adding lines and then smearing Oops. okay and then I'm going to add some orange even though my paper is orange I'm going to give it a little bit of a contrasting orange And I could keep going. I probably won't do the entire thing. You get the idea. Once you get done with all of the sections that you are smearing, if you need to, you can go over your Sharpie lines again. Or if you started with pencil, you can then trace over your pencil lines with the Sharpie. Just to go over them again in case you have chalk pastel that covers just to give it a little more definition. It's also nice that if you make a mistake, you can usually cover it up with a Sharpie. You can make your lines wider or add lines if you need to. If for some reason the chalk pastel didn't go where you wanted it to, that happens sometimes. So I could keep tracing my lines and filling that all in, but eventually, You'll have just one small section close up of a butterfly wing. <laughs>